Hi there. In the series of pivot table videos, what I am first doing is making you aware of all the important tips and tricks. Eventually, as we progress and we have been made aware of all the important tips and tricks, we will take bigger data. Right now, I'm continuing with a previous section where we had created a list of all the division names, the sum of salary, average salary and count of salary. Now, you might also wonder that besides the absolute number, you may also wish to get the percentage value. That means if out of 417 employees, 41 belong to the division AD, which is approximately 10%, then I should have the 10% value here. So let me do one thing. Let me go back one step. Let me take away the salary option away from this checkbox and this pivot table gets back to one level down. Simply watching the video won't help. Practice will. So take the initiative. Get access to all my YouTube practice files from the description given below. Now, against the division names, I'm going to put salary in the main action area, not once, but twice. Now, with salary amount, I want the percentage. Okay, so how do I proceed? Well, I go to the second heading which says sum of salary, the one which is highlighting right now. I double click on that. My intention is to go to value field settings. So I go to value field settings and then there are two tabs side by side. I go to the second tab and here, if I start looking at the various options, it says show value as, as what? And as I click on the drop down menu, you notice it says percentage of grand total, percentage of column and row total. In fact, the terminologies might be slightly different in the older version of Excel in 2007 version vis-a-vis -vis 2010 and 13. But never mind, I'll take you through all the various options eventually. As of now, I'm interested in percentage of grand total. What is grand total? This is grand total for this particular column. So what is it going to do? It is going to do 8 million divided by 95.7 million dollars. And that is how the percentage gets derived. If you want to sort this entire list based on the uh, percentage, yes, you can. You can say right click and sort, sort largest to smallest. So what we saw was a very, very brief overview how a particular number in the value field gets converted to percentage, which can be looked at side by side besides the absolute number. If you liked how we explained the logic behind the tricks, why don't you check out our entire library? Use the link in the description below. Let me take you a few notches above in terms of the complexity of the features of pivot table. Now, inside value field show value as tab, you would have noticed in the earlier videos, we talked about grand total, percentage of grand total. Well, this time with an example, I'm going to show you examples how percentage of column or how percentage of row total can benefit us if we have the requisite data. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the slate, slate clean and return back to the normal grid area of the pivot table. I keep the division in the row field. Once having done so, let me keep uh, the rating in the column fields area. So basically, this report is going to tell me under which division, how many people got rating 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 1 being the good rating, 5 being the bad rating. Now, I need name in the main action area. Notice I'm not simply taking this name on because by default, since name is a text field, it is being thrown inside row field, which then gives you the list of all the names. I want name not in the row field, but in the main action area where I'm going to throw this particular field into. Once I have the numbers before me, this automatically gives me count of name. Single reason being since name is a text, nothing can be averaged, nothing can be summed. Only one mathematics can be applied and that happens to be what? Count? Yes. Now, from here the story begins. What if I ask you that I want a calculation in the pivot table which says 7 by 41. So, typically we would like to select the cell 7 divided by 41, correct? Pressing enter. So, this shows me approximately 17%. Or at times I may want a calculation which says 7 divided by the grand total, the total employees in the organization enter and that's how much? Uh, roughly 1.6% and at times I may ask you equal to 7 divided by 63 which is at the bottom of this column, enter. So that's approximately 11%. So every one of these calculations have different interpretations and their approaches to generate them is also different. So we'll see how those will be generated 
and what interpretation does it bring before us so what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose this yellow cell the one which i've colored right now count count of name and within which i'm going to double click upon i go to the second tab which says show value as under value field settings and here let me start with percentage of grand total okay so as i can see this divided by total 417 happens to be 1.68 percentage so this calculation is an overall calculation and is relevant when all the variables are of same nature or same scale currently the nature of the ratings are different one is a good rating five is a bad rating so i perhaps may want to calculate this number divided by the relevant total of that one column so i double click on the header i go to show value as and then i choose percentage of column i press okay this calculation 7 divided by 63 that is 1 by 9 hence showing you 11.11%. So what story does it hold for us? Well, this tells you that out of 63 people, one third of them belong to RAD who have received rating 1. Within the rating 1 pool, 27% belongs to which division? HFD. So this story would have not been exhibited had used the earlier example of percentage of grand total. In fact, I'll show you one more variation where I'm going to double click on the header and get back to the percentage drop down and choose percentage of row total once i press okay this time the each division is being shown as a separate business unit sbu and within the same business unit if i have to bifurcate the entire group of people into five categories so rating 1 till 5 i get to see the percentage this will be even more clear if i reduce the decimal so as to make this uh, look more uh, easy on the eyes There you go. So if I read the line number one, which pertains to rating AD, it tells me within AD, 17% have got rating one, 20% have received rating two, 32% have received the average rating rating three, and remaining 32% have got rating four and five in total. So this is giving an overall view of division by division. So as we proceed, the more data we take up, we'll see how different interpretations hold different answers and clues to the question we might ask.